Hi, I'm James Crowhurst from ICT Techie and in this video I'm going to show you how to install version 3 of AirServer. This is the new universal version that allows you to not only airplay with an iOS device but also to use Miracast with a Windows device and Android. So you need to go to the AirServer website which is up here and then go to the download page which I'm in now and on the right hand side we can find we can download the 64-bit or the 32-bit version it's important you get the correct version for your PC if you're unsure you can have a look in the system properties on your machine which is found in the control panel my machine is a 64-bit machine so I'm going to download the 64-bit version the installation process is the same for a 32-bit version so don't worry and I've clicked it, it's popped down the bottom, it's downloading. You can see it's only a small download, 8.6 meg, so it shouldn't take very long to download. Once it's finished downloading, you can click on it and it should start to run. So I'm at the Welcome to the Air Server Universal Setup Wizard. So I'm going to press Next. And here I can customize my setup. So if I don't want to have the Miracast features, I can turn it off just by clicking the little arrow here and choose whether I want it to be installed, have the entire feature installed, or have it uninstalled. Really, you'll only use the top one or the bottom one on this option. I'm going to keep all options on, so I'm just going to press next. Now you can see it says it's ready to install. If you are missing any important files like Bonjour to use the iOS, it will pop up in here. Follow the link to download Bonjour and install it. You can ignore the extra things in the useful information. These are just extra ways that you can get media to play in Air Server. I'm just going to press Next. I need to accept the user agreement. Press Next. Choose where I'm going to install to. I'm just going to keep it as the default. Press Next. And now I'm going to choose how I want it to start. If you don't want it to start at all, you use No. If you want it to start every time just you log on to Windows, you choose the middle one. And if you want it to start when anybody logs on to Windows, choose the bottom one. This is the option I'm going to use. Although it's only me who uses my laptop, it might be the rare occasion where someone else uses it and they might want to use Air Server. So I'm going to make sure that anyone can use it when they log on to my computer. So I'll press Next. And now I'm ready to install. So I'm going to press install and you can see it starts to go through the process and this can take a little while so I'm going to pause the video here and I'll come back at any important points during the installation process. Okay so after a few minutes you can see that it tells me now that Air Server has completed the install and I can keep this ticked down here to launch Air Server so I can get straight into it. So I'm going to press finish. And you can see it's popped up down here to tell me that Air Server Universal 64 bit is running and it's running as this. Okay, so that's Air Server successfully installed. Please note that if you have any previous versions of Air Server installed, it is worth uninstalling them first, otherwise you may get a conflict when you try to run Air Server. That ends this video. Please um, like, subscribe, follow all of my social media channels and look out for the future videos on Air Server and other cool and interesting ICT things.